Hello, I'm gonna talk about plaque accumulation and uh, calculus formation factors for development of uh, plaque, plaque induced gingivitis and uh, parodontitis. So, the bacteria, plaque bacteria, they are negatively loaded. Also, the tooth structure is negatively loaded. Also, the cementum also. Um, so we have uh, two negatively loaded structures. One of them is a tooth, and the other is these bacteria. So how do they connect then? It's electrostatical powers and uh, Van der Waals connections. See these uh, ions, H ions from H2O. Uh, the water, the molecule of the water, so they are positively loaded. They are inhibit inhibiting the connection between the bacteria and the tooth surface. So uh, when the, um, it's a uh, more acid acidic surface, we have uh, inhibit inhibi inhibition on this connection between the bacteria and the tooth. Also, when we have um, when we use uh, Horhexidin uh, rinsing uh, rinsing uh, uh, solutions, they also have inhibiting effect on uh, um, this connection of the plaque adherence of the, of the plaque on the tooth surface. Uh, accumulation of the plaque is uh, is inhibited uh, in uh, this way. So. Uh, factors for plaque accumulation, they are natural factors and also iatrogenic factors. Natural factors are um, calculus, dental calculus and um, some uh, tubercles and um, very retentive areas of the, of the teeth. Uh, also orthodontic crowding. When uh, teeth are very crowded it's very hard to, it's more uh, hard to clean them. Uh, the spaces between them are small and they're overlapping surfaces which are difficult to clean. Iatrogenic factors are usually dental. Uh, one of uh, the iatrogenic factors is uh, obturation uh, class 2 uh, when and there is uh, interproximal wall affected. Um, and uh, the contour of the tooth is not uh, uh, restored in a good way. So we have uh, this edge here. This edge is uh, it's a reason for the plaque to accumulate under it and to cause inflammation. Also, if this edge is like this, if the obturation is made like this, and this part is missing, also in this part here there will be plaque accumulating. Uh, every every obturation is not perfect. Perfect. If you see it under microscope, uh, you will see uh, a lot of uh, micro uh, spaces between the obturation and the tooth structure. Um, for amalgam, it's uh, uh, it's because of the corrosion, and uh, for the obturation materials like uh, composite, it's because of the uh, shrinkage. So the other other iatrogenic factors are uh, preparations for crowns. Usually, preparation for crowns uh, super gingival preparation, where when the border of the preparation uh, preparation is uh, above the free gingival, gingival margin, then uh, it uh, has more protective uh, function. And when there is under. Uh, it is irritating the sulcus, the gingival sulcus, all the time. Um, 
this uh, gingival is so 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 because we just form between the marginal gingival, the free gingival edge, and the uh, tooth surface. So this. Uh, borders of the crown are irritating the sulcus and the sulcus is produced in, in the sulcus there is produced more cravicular uh, fluid uh, it is uh, constantly mechanical irritated by the borders of the crown uh, other uh, iatrogenic factors are uh, badly undone badly done uh, bridges which uh, don't reach the border of the gingival, the free gingival margin and uh, calculus formation, this is a natural factor calculus formation, uh, it's um, because calculus is not um, it's very porous the surface it's not uh, it's very irregular so it's very likely on it to develop uh, for the bacteria to adhere and to stay there that's why it's one of the natural factors for accumulation of black and that's all